Everything is interesting, keep on watching. Boss led me to educated. Chin and music, lifestyle, politics, your health, everything is entertaining. You know, boss led me to boss led me to you can know more. Boss led me to boss led me to see back and watch. Boss led me to boss led me to I say you can know more. Welcome to Boss Lady Meets. Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Boss Lady Meets. Wow, I'm so excited today. <laughs> I'm sure you guys want to know why. Hmm, I have a big fish in the house. She's an actress, a politician, a filmmaker, and um, do I add that she, she defeated her own record as the highest grossing movie twice. I'm sure your guess is as good as mine. Welcome to the delectable Funke Akindele. <laughs> Hello, sister. Mm, no sister here. <laughs> Strictly boss lady. How are you, Funke? I'm fine. It's a great honor to be on your show, I must say. Boss lady meets. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited being interviewed by my elder sister, so. Hmm. Let's set the ball rolling. I want to say a big thank you to you for making it out, out of a busy schedule, you understand, for this interview because it's been a long one uh, yes, waiting on the list for you. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me. So how do you feel being interviewed by your sister? Well, I feel blessed. I feel good. Um, let me see. <laughs> It's natural because we talk at home, but this time around the camera is there. I'm used to the camera. I romance the camera almost every day of my life. So I, know. I know. I feel good about it. I can't wait to, you know, get into it. I'm excited. Well, for me, I must say that um, I feel blessed. I feel honored. And at the same time, I mean, as much as I want to be professional, I'm kind of being careful, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> but anyhow, let's set the ball rolling. Let's go. So congratulations on your recent um, box office hit because I remember the last time you and I, we had a chat, you said during a Mogeto, you said you were going to beat your own record and to the glory of God, you were able to achieve that. So how does it feel? How do I feel, you know, breaking the record I set? <laughs> I just watched a movie of all time. <sighs> I feel blessed. I feel good about it because it's not easy to, you know, start up a project and complete it. It's only by God's grace. Mm. So I thank God for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy about it, uh, but I feel normal. It's it's what I like to do. Mm. I love to work hard and take notes. Um, I don't decide to get into competition with anyone or to, you know, come out malicious mm. about it or being, you know, Unnecessarily unnecessarily competitive. Competitive. Mm -hmm. I just want to do what makes people happy. I just want to make people smile, laugh. Mm -hmm. I want to put food on my table. So in the process, I'm breaking the record. So I'm grateful. Thank God. So setting this record with a box office hit and earning you this accolade of box office queen, do you feel pressured while churning out movies? You mean for the next one? Yes. Um, pressured? No, because I've always taken quality over quantity. You know? mm. Anything I do, I like to do it very well. Mm. I, I like to work with professionals, mm. people that know their audience. So, mm. no, I'm not pressured. I just want to keep doing the best, churning out good content. You know, mm. it's it's a normal thing for me. Mm -hmm. so I'm not under any pressure. Mm. I'm not at all. If I want to do a small movie, I'll do it, mm. and I'll do it well. If I want to do a big one, I'll do it. I'll do it well. If I want to go and put my movie on YouTube, small skits, I can't do skits and do it well. Yes, anything, just do it well. That's all I do. Absolutely, well done. So, when um, your name, whenever your name is being mentioned as one of um, the pioneers of um, filmmakers, female filmmakers in Nigeria, how do you feel when you hear all these accolades? Box Office Queen, mm -hmm. I, think I even I dare say, top five in Africa. One of the top five in Africa. Because she's your sister. No, I'm sure they all agree with me. <laughs> Undisputed. Well, like you asked earlier on. So how do I feel with all the accolades? Box office queen, best actress, this, that, you know. And 
I just feel good. I feel mm. blessed. Mm. I just keep returning all the glory to God for mm. the strength, for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, for the funds, you know, providing the avenue to have the funds. It's, it's by God's grace. I feel good about it, but trust me, I just want to work hard. I want to do the best. Mm. I, I want to keep collaborating with great filmmakers in Nigeria, West Africa, other countries, you know, in the Western world, Hollywood, Bollywood. I just want collaborations. I just want to keep sharing our good content. Hmm. Well done. So how, how have you been able to sustain the ever-changing audience? You know, with the trends when it comes to like we have demands the yeah. and all the rest. Uh, well, I, I write relatable stories, if you notice, with Battle on Booker Street, Omogeto, Jennifer, you know, there's no episode you're watching, Jennifer. I cannot relate to it, to it like, um, you know, someone that is like that, or, you know, something that has happened before. I, 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 I work with content that everybody can pick something from. So, be Gen Z, be in, the, the old, be the young, everybody has something to take home. And don't forget that any content from me must teach morals. Absolutely. You know, I have a message for every member of the family, everybody in the society, uh, whatever travails, troubles they're going through, I, I try to pinpoint, you know, touch each and, you know, try to raise awareness in a subtle way, you know, to the general public. So my content is for everyone and I study my audience, I know what they want. Mm. You know, people want to laugh, mm -hmm. but they don't want you to say, I'm laughing. People want to learn lessons, like but they don't want you to say, mm. I'm learning a lesson. <laughs> so you have to pass everything out there in a subtle way. Absolutely. So you mentioned earlier three of your movies, um, box office hits in their own way. You mentioned Jennifer, you mentioned um, Omogeto, you mentioned Battle on Booker Street. So, and out of these movies, each you were able to kind of um, build a character that's more more or less like a household name now in terms of Monica's mm -hmm. like for Jennifer now there's Sulia and there's mm -hmm. Jennifer mm -hmm. and in Omogeto there's Lefty and now the ever popular um was an Yejide. Yejide. So how were you able, you understand, to come up with this concept? How do you build these characters and how do you sustain it with the lingos okay. surrounding each? Okay for me um things happening around me you know help me in writing um, situations. I'm sure you've experienced a lot at home as a family member. Mm -hmm. Like you telling me, like people don't know that some of the characters in Jennifer, the first Jennifer, the Bobo Big Girl character I wrote, mm. is actually from one of your friends that calls yeah. you. Ah, Bobo Big Girl, yeah. I was way back then. <laughs> and from the window in my room, I'll hear him shouting, Bobo Big Girl, Bobo Big Girl. I'm like, he's on good, he's shouting again. <laughs> you know, I pick things up from the streets, from things happening around me, even from ourselves, even from artisans that come to work at home or in the studio and I just build characters out of it. I see a lot of funny characters around and I try to just build a character out of it and let people watch it and when they're watching I'm like oh I know someone like that oh I know auntie like that so and how do I sustain it just by being real hmm. these characters are real they're hmm. things that happen hmm. you understand yes we're making features but obviously you can relate to it absolutely so do you see yourself as being successful? I see myself as being blessed, yes. Uh, uh, success is a, it's, it's, a re, it's a reward for hard work hmm. and um, cons uh, consistency, you know. I, I, I am successful. I want to be more successful than this, hmm. and I thank God for it. Absolutely, so when we get back, we get more personal with Miss Funky Akindele. Personal. We'll be right back. Everything is interesting, keep on watching. Welcome to Boss Lady Meets. Welcome back, guys. Like I mentioned earlier, my guest is the delectable filmmaker, Miss Funke Akindele. Thank you, thank you, merci, merci, merci. <laughs> <laughs> so before we went on that short break, I mentioned I will get personal, and I'm sorry that my touch, I might make you feel a little bit sober. So you recently lost your mom. How do you feel? We recently lost our mom. Lost our mom recently. 
it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, like you notice, I've, I've not put that part of me on social media, though we announced the passing on, but um, the burial, every other thing, you know, I kept it to myself. Mm -hmm. It's quite emotional, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I was, I was, I'm still healing. Mm -hmm. With time, I'll come to terms with it, and I feel I just thank God for our life because mom was everything. Mom gave her all to us. Mom was so selfless with her children. Mm. Mom, 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 mom was a, she's a better parent than I am, I must say. May our soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Uh, may God be with our children and grandchildren in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It, was, it was emotional. It's still, I know. Still, it's still, a, still a very big open wound. But so when you got received the news, how did you receive it? When she passed, how did you feel? I felt I'd already... You were even, even stronger than I. Yeah, because I felt it. I was in the car when Mama was called, the last one, the baby of the house, and they said, Mom is not, she's not responding well. And I was going for a meeting with Mama. Mama said, Sister, let me go to the hospital, you go for the meeting. Mm -hmm. But during the meeting, I just told them, Guys, I need to leave. My mom is sick. I think she's, she has passed on. Mm -hmm. And they were looking at me, like, What's wrong with you? So I called, but nobody was speaking my calls, but was giving me any information. So I drove down to the hospital. So when I got into the elevator, the spirit of God said, Mom is dead, we just yeah. have to be strong. So I'm coming out of the elevator, Mama said, they, they're trying to, you know, use the incubator or something mm -hmm. to be so mm -hmm. I knew she was gone, so I cried, but when I now saw her, I really can't say how I felt. I really can't say it because it's, it's a lot, so it's okay. All right, because I'm, every, I'm sure all your fans they can testify to it because you're always talking about your mom as being part of your success story oh, and yes. all that. Oh yes, so the dishes. bond and all that, the closeness and all that. So uh, the passing of your mom has it changed your perception about life oh. and all that? The passing of mom has changed my perception about life. I was still thinking about it today. Just a few minutes ago when I was touching up my face, when I was trying to change into what to wear for this interview, I was just telling myself that I'm going to say a job like mm. there's nothing special under the sun. Just take a day at a time, take life easy. Take it as it comes. Be good, take care of your health, be nice, give, be prayerful, work hard. Well, Everybody's gonna go someday, but we pray for long life and good health. Amen. Rest in power, mom. Amen. All right. Um, let's have a sneak peek into your childhood. Um, as a child, who inspired you into this profession of yours? Mm, growing up, who inspired me to be an actress? I had always wanted to be an entertainer. I could remember way back from age six, seven, mom used to tell me that. Um, I, I was always taking our tape, audio tapes, and I'll be recording. Oh, I'll obey audio tapes. I'll put it in the cassette player, and I'll press record. And I'll be singing. I feel like a morning star. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to be a superstar. You know, trying to sing, dance, act before the mirror. But when I decided to go into, you know, filmmaking as, as in acting, probably mm -hmm. professionally. I liked the late big um, girl, the color I read. I love the way she acts. You know, mm. in, my, in my head, I'm like, I can act like this. I can even be better. And I remember going. Mommy would drive us down that to Odufa, mm -hmm. Kokos, where mm -hmm. we had the Ogogo, mm -hmm. Abilari, Kakwadri mm -hmm. squad. Then drive us down to Fadi, mm -hmm. Chidekosoko's office. She's just trying to, you know, make me get a, a spot to showcase my talent. It was pretty difficult then, but I didn't really have any other person aside Rity then, the late Rity then. Mm, fantastic. So still talking about your childhood, do you have any memory, like a true confession or a secret that you feel appropriate to share with the fans? Mm. No, because you're seated. <laughs> maybe I wore your clothes or maybe I did something that I don't want you to know. What about tired. the ones that you got me into trouble? Yes, a lot of times <laughs> when I tell lies and you want to speak the truth and I keep blinking like ah, bumi masoro, 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 masoro. <laughs> and you speak the truth and they will keep beating me. I'm like, Ugh. 
say, we had a good day. And all of my mom would say, you guys go and sit in the store till I come back. You know, that was crazy. Growing up, I was more of a tomboy. Mm -hmm. you know? Always going out. When mommy says she not go out, mm -hmm. you know, nobody should go downstairs. And when I hear the honk, because when mommy honks like this, and I hear a horn, boom, mm -hmm. I've left. But you always stay in the edge. You forget to run quickly, and they catch you. Mm -hmm. Mommy, we went downstairs. I'm like, no, I was really silly while growing up. I was so God rest mom. So mommy really tried. Absolutely. So still talking about family. You know, life comes with. Um, natural clashes sometimes in the family so how do you manage to settle quarrels among the family maybe i bring up the quarrel that's what <laughs> yeah. because i'm very blunt and you know me i'll just say it mm -hmm. i'll just it say it i will say it i don't think can tell me because mm -hmm. I, I want there to be a change mm -hmm. you know i want it to be i want us to be happy as a family mm -hmm. you know we all have to tell one another the truth mm -hmm. as siblings mm -hmm. and um we must grow the family. We have children. Mm -hmm. So we must lay good precedence. And mm -hmm. So if things happen, you know, I will say it and we'll argue over it. But Mama is always there to say, Sister, please now. <laughs> sister, Papa, please, please, sister. Mm -hmm. And but we've grown and we Absolutely. just sit down and talk and make cable. Mm. Yeah. Still talking about family. You're a mother, you're a filmmaker, you're a CEO. How do you juggle? How do I juggle? Hmm. Like you don't know the secret. <laughs> Thank God for my family. Thank mm -hmm. you, God, for my my children's major aunt. Hmm. Uh, God bless her so much. Hmm. She's been there for them, you know, mm -hmm. and their nannies, mm -hmm. my siblings. The daddy does some most times she does the school runs for me and while I'm working. Thank God for my family. Thank God for everything. Thank God for the good days, the not too good days and the better days I had. I just try my best, you know, I just take a day at a time. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the family, the staff, my PAs, oh God. You guys are everything. Thank you. Thank God. So still talking about uh, motherhood. Do you think motherhood has changed you, the transition as um, the normal chic and all that and then to being a mother? Do you think it has changed anything about you? Did you have you learned anything? From, oh, from motherhood, of course, I learned a lot. <sighs> motherhood, you're not living for yourself anymore. Mm -hmm. You're living for yourself, for the children and you. Sometimes forget about you. Mm -hmm. um, but I thank God, like I said, for my family and my workers. You know, they made life very easy for me and I don't take it for granted, I thank God. But so far as a babe, as a chick, <laughs> as a chick, I mean, no. Mm. I'm still there, I'm still ticking, but I learned a lot from motherhood and I'm, I'm calmer, you know, I, I have to think about Zach and Zion before taking any decision now. Mm, thank God. So when you're not filming, when you're not working, when you're not on the field, how do you relax? When I'm not working, how do I relax? Um, I watch TV shows, um, I sleep, I try mm. to sleep, I do massage a lot. Um, I'm just a big on massage, like, I love massage a lot, I like getting massage, like, then um, I go to restaurants, I love going to restaurants, we go to the restaurant together as a family, mm -hmm. ah, I like, I just said this one in restaurant, it's all too safe, <laughs> and I've been planning that this weekend, we gotta go there. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, do you have uh, any fetish, and then why do you love those items? What are your fetish? Hmm. Shoes. Hmm. I know. I know, right? I love shoes. I know. A peep into your closet. Ah. Shoes. I know. <laughs> I love shoes. But what? to think of the fact that while climbing up, while climbing the ladder of success, while hustling, mm -hmm. I could count how many shoes. What am I saying? Maybe just two then I remember all the shows. Hmm. Or the children is just two. <laughs> <laughs> but today I can't count, so you just have hmm. to keep working harder so you can afford whatever you love to have. So hmm. mine is sh mine is shoes. So what's the item that you fashion item that you recently purchased or like bought that you have included in your closet? Fashion item. More shoes and bags. Hmm. You're big, you're big, you know. <laughs> <laughs>
So what's that meal or food that you can never do without in an event? Hmm. Meal or food that I can't do without? Hmm. Ah, small jobs new. Hmm. I knew it. Kind of small jobs. <laughs> okay, is there any question in the course of your media rounds or interview that you wouldn't want to be asked anymore? Yes. Tell me. And I hope I've not asked. No, you will not. We're <laughs> <laughs> not, sister, you will not. I don't want to talk about so many things. Mm -hmm. you know, just leave it, let it pass. Absolutely. Like the fans will say, oh, your fans need to go. No, my fans know I'm human. <laughs> but my mental health is very important. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. So is there anything about you that you wish people talked about more or focused more mm. on? Hmm. Do I do I bother about what people should focus on? I think um let me see. Hmm. Oh nothing that I I'm not sure of anything right now. Alright. So till date, I mean, do you have a talent or hobby most people don't know about? I didn't know me. Me and my fans. <laughs> <laughs> on social media. We showcase so everything. Oh. Hmm. Everything, the dance, music, <laughs> acting, everything, you know, everything. Let me see, what else do I do? Uh, let me see, hair making. They see me BTS of the film mm -hmm. production. I style hair, I do makeup, I do style sorts. So you even bob? Yeah, I bob hair, yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to, but now I don't think. <laughs> yeah, so I'll try to do back in this. <laughs> <laughs> Toby's laughing behind the camera. <laughs> so is there any role that you really desire to play? Hmm. Is there any role I desire to play? Maybe if I see the script right now, whatever I desire to play, I write it down and I play it. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. thank God for that. So, mm -hmm. if producers out there, filmmakers out there feel we won't forget to do something different, bring it on. As long as we have enough months, you know, to do rehearsals, you know, to get into the character, then why not? Hmm. Thanks. So where do you draw the line when it comes to accepting roles? Where do I draw the line? Oh, I can nudity, of course. Yeah. I want to try romance. Hmm. But what I kiss. Mm. We're gonna do romance. We're gonna do all that. But As in deep kiss. Yeah. Kiss, kiss. Mm. Is it not work? <laughs> kiss now. <laughs> not filmmaking. We're filmmakers. It's make believe. We all right. Kiss. Hmm. Let's a tribe called Judah. First off, I really love the title. Mm. A tribe called Judah is so creative. Your think tank, or do I say your creative juice all day your head, my sister. Thank God for that. So, is there any reason behind that title? What inspired? Oh title? well, it just came. I just sat down that day and I thought of it. A tribe, because you know we have this uh, musical group there back then, a tribe called Quest, mm -hmm. and um, just a tribe called Judah, you know. And I wanted to be biblical, mm -hmm. you know. And everything about that movie is spiritual. Mm -hmm. I would say from the title to the lead character's name, the major character's name. I just thought, I just thought of it. There should be a biblical name that is J something, and mm -hmm. I came up with the character name. So mm -hmm. it's God. Mm -hmm. So I had the opportunity to at least come on set one or two, three days. And I must say, it is a gigantic, I mean, it was a gigantic um, production. So is there anything that your fans should look out for that is different from your previous movies in it's terms of a time? Totally, the storyline is totally different. The characters, the cast, the ensemble, it's, it's different. Hmm. You've not seen those actors together before and you know, the crew, the locations, the sets, the production design, it's awesome. It's it's huge. I don't want to spill the beans. It's mm -hmm. a movie you would love to watch. So December, from December 15th, will be in all awesome. cinemas. So you guys should watch out. Storm the cinemas. And I must add that the synergy, I love the synergy of um, the technical director. And in you, also, it's a beautiful one. Yes. So how does he feel playing the lead role and then the director and then the producer? 
it's quite tedious, I must say. You, you, you just have to be ready for the madness, because I call it madness. I love to multitask a lot. I, I love to do things, you know. I'm a perfectionist, I take it. I'm a perfectionist and it's a big weakness. <laughs> Also a plus, yeah. you know, I want to get the best always and that really affects me while, you know, working. I wouldn't say it affects me, I think it's just, it puts me on my toes yeah. the more, like, I'm checking the monitor and I also want to act, I also want to watch the expressions the actors are giving me for each lines they're rendering. It's a lot of work, but I love doing it, I enjoy it, I, I don't regret it, I thank God. Thank God. So, what keeps you going in your lowest moments? Because you're really a strong woman from Kermosi. What keeps me going in my lowest moments is just prayers. It's, it's just accepting the will of God. Mm -hmm. Just accept the will of God mm -hmm. and pray for better days. And we pray that His will be done for good, positivity in our lives always. And Amen. where there is a problem, God should quickly avert it. Any negativity in our lives, God should take it away. So it's just the grace of God and the fact that I just accept. And I did my day, I did my lane. I don't do past myself. I mean, you don't do past yourself. So one word on the last note from K. One word for for upcoming acts. Okay. Who, who aspires to be like you? Okay, young talents out there, upcoming acts out there. I just want to tell you, well done. You are doing well. Don't give up. I see a lot of monologues on social media. I see a lot of tags. I see people acting like Jennifer. Well done. Keep doing your thing. You'll get a big yes someday soon. I got a lot of news hmm. before I could get a yes that brought me this far. So get ready for more news till one big yes takes you up there. Do not be discouraged. Yes, bad days will come that you will cry. I cried. Hmm. I broke down, but thank God for my mom that will tell me, you just have to keep going. So I learned over the years to stand before the mirror, break down if I want to break down, wipe away the tears, and tell myself to keep going. Trust me. Tough times don't last, but tough people. Tough people determined, prayerful, hard workers, they last forever. Well done. I wish you guys all the best. Wish you all the best. And on that note, here's Nisi Boss Lady signing out. See you guys soon on another exciting episode of Boss Lady Meets. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bye. Mwah. Welcome to Boss Lady Meets. Uh, if you really wanna know what's going on, keep yourself tuned. The best blog to show it on. Boss Lady Meets, best source for info. I saw facts just from back home to overseas and all that. Who said what and who said who and who said false and who said truth and who stayed cool? Hot topics on the seat, shake tables. No other platform. They were like we, but we ain't.